Kidney stones are, are basically made up of salts and proteins uh, in the body. On average, our stones that we see is usually less than a one centimeter size, usually two to eight millimeters. A lot of times what causes the pain is that once the stone passes out of the kidney into the ureter, which is a tube that drains the kidney to the bladder, uh, it obstructs that. Obviously when a patient gets a kidney stone and they have that sudden onset of pain, they, they feel like, hey, I want something done now. Not every stone needs treated immediately, depending on its size and its location. When these patients come to the emergency department, we've set up a protocol called the SWIFT protocol. That stands for Stone Work-In for Treatment Protocol. And what this protocol does is it allows the ER staff to be able to, if these patients do not need admitted, but they're still in, that they do have discomfort, but they come to the ER, they were treated accordingly with some IV pain medication, uh, and they're now they're doing well, their pain's resolved, then they can be treated on an outpatient basis. A lot of times these patients would have to wait an extended period of time to get in to see the urologist a week or two and then potentially be scheduled for their procedure. What we do is we've implemented a process whereby that we have two of our mid-level practitioners uh, see these patients within 24 hours, uh, talk to the patient, establish, review the films, look at the CT scans, and talk to the patient as far as how much discomfort they're in, the size, uh, location of the stone, and determine whether surgical intervention is indicated. If it is indicated, then at that point in time, they have the ability to look at the surgical surgeon's uh, schedule for the operating room and get these patients plugged into a slot to get uh, treatment uh, as soon as possible, instead of the patient having to wait for an extended one to two weeks to get in to see the urologist. Uh, so it's improving the access to care to the patients in this area. Once you are treated, most patients ask, what can I do to keep from getting these again because of the pain and, and the discomfort that these cause. And then allowing us to have the stone clinic and getting patients into it and following them up and determine their metabolic uh, issues that's predisposed them to them, correcting those maybe through diet, through medication, through increased fluid intake and patient education uh, overall really improves the, uh, improves the quality of care of those patients who suffer from uh, kidney stones.